All right, I'm just going to show you something. This is the um, my inverter, right? Making screens very hard to read. 998 watts at the moment, right? I'm going to turn the water on and show you the cooling of the panels. One second, I've got to run around here. We'll turn on the water. Hook up to the little timer on a tap. Turn the timer on for an hour, half an hour, whatever you want. And then by the time you um, you don't forget to turn the tap off, it turns itself off automatically. So, the 989, I think that just said. If we wait a second, the water will squirt up on the roof. Those you'll know. I've also learned if you turn your iPhone sideways, it gives you full screen on YouTube. Totally unrelated point, but there you go. Still at 998, water's getting up there. My screen is trashed. I don't know what's happened to the... Um... It's very hard to read. When it gets hot, it just um, becomes impossible to read. See, 1,062. Now, the sun's just shining, so that's I'm already up, you know, 60 watts, 70 watts. By the time those panels cool down a bit more. So all I've done is got those sprays going. If you look at my other video, I've got this cooling solar panel video. Um, this is just a bit of proof for it. it. Takes a bit of time to scroll through and you can't do it manually. It's 1,091 and climbing. So... Just a bit of water spraying onto the panels that makes all the difference. Today it's about 33, 35 degrees. It's uh, pretty warm. There we go, what's it going to be? 1137 from what, 900 and something it was? 980? It, it should, I usually get about 200 watts extra. Got the hose that runs up the garden spout, up the spout there, and up onto the roof. And uh, she's a pretty sunny day. Go okay, once more. 1185. So that's not bad from the 980. So I'm 200 watts up. All right, there you go. So it does work. Not not making crap. That's it, bit of spray water onto the panels and that makes it nice and cool. Talk to you later.